Okay, so this is the fifth um, reason why you shouldn't get uh, married to a divorced woman, right? So I've read the Bible, I want to say about five to six times um, from, from cover to, um, to, to back. And I cannot think of a more restrictive law than marriage and divorce. I, mean, I just, trust me, I can't. I've, 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 I've tried to, to, to see if there's any kind of wiggle room that Jesus Christ did when, 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 when he was alive. Nope. God, nope. Like even Paul, Paul gave just a little bit, but as far as Jesus Christ and God is concerned, no, he, there was no wiggle room unless it was for you know before you married that woman, she was um, she was uh, she was not a virgin, or that or the woman is dead, right? So the fifth reason actually is this, right? She does not fear God, guys. This is so important. This is super, super, super important. If you don't get anything that I'm saying, get this part. Listen, if a woman does not fear God and she is willing to ignore all the um, constraints of God and all the laws of God in terms of this marriage and divorce thing, she is not going to fear you. She's not going to respect you and she's not going to allow you to be a man in your own house. Why? Because she did not allow God to be the, the Christ in her heart. So who the hell are you?